Hey everybody, it's Dash2002 here with another video, and today I'll be showing you how to create yet another Bracket Beast. This is better than the other two that I have made in the past. By far, it's the best one so far in the series. So without further ado, let's get started. And for the conversion, you want the LS swap, also known as the 6.2 liter V8. You want to swap it to rear wheel drive, because brackets don't allow all wheel drive. And then you'll need the twin turbos. Then for the engine, you'll want to put on race for everything except the oil and cooling. But everything else, race. Platform and handling, you want race brakes, rally spring and dampers, race front and rear anti-roll bars, and race weight reduction. And then drivetrain, you want the drift four speed transmission, the race drive line and the off-road differential then for tires and rims you want drag tire compound you want skinny tires in front big meaty tires in the back rear track width maxed out stock in the front and then rims you want Dimag 9 spoke, of course, just like in the other videos. And then for the arrow and appearance, you honestly don't need to do anything. If you want the hood, you can put that on. But to me, there aren't many options that look cool, so I didn't put the on and yeah so that's it for the build let's get on to the tune and so for the tune the tire pressure the front is going to be 55 psi with 15 in the back final drive for gearing is 2.2 first gear is 6 second gear is 3.1 third gear 1.9 fourth gear 1.4 alignment front camber is going to be five degrees but the rear camber as well as the toe is going to be zero and front caster will be seven anti-roll bars are both going to be at one springs are going to be in the front minimized and rear 400 with max ride height Damping, rebound stiffness is going to be 1 for both, and then bump stiffness is 20 for both. Then for arrow and brake, don't mess with it, and differential is going to be 100 and 100. Now let's test this thing out. And so now here we are at the quarter mile. Basically the way you launch this car is put it into launch control. And then, once it's time to start the race, let go of the brake and just launch as normal. As you see, that was really bad. So, let's run that again. Okay, with a better run, you see it. 173.72 That is what I like to call insane Even more so the Savannah yeah, Even more so than the Savannah Even more so than the Cobra Definitely the Cobra is worse Savannah is worse by a bit and yeah that is quite a difference between 
this car and the other cars I've done. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.